It's a mid mic daily bite. 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 Welcome to Mid Mic Crisis Daily Bite. Chamber, have you seen Nvidia's stock lately? It's higher than my calves are wide, and that's saying something. Listen, bunch, it's bonkers. Nvidia hit a record high of one hundred thirty-eight dollars and seven cents. They're now the second most valuable U.S. company with a market cap. Let me guess, a bajillion dollars? Close, but actually three point four trillion dollars. That's wild, right? It's like they're printing money faster than the Fed during a pandemic. Super interesting. This is pretty game changing for the AI market. Nvidia is controlling seventy to ninety-five percent of the AI chip market. Talk about a monopoly. Speaking of monopolies, remember when we thought Blockbuster would rule forever? Now look at us, streaming AI-generated content. The irony. True, but unlike Blockbuster, Nvidia is not resting on its laurels. Their revenue is projected to double to one hundred twenty-six billion dollars. That's a lot of chips. Chips? Great. Now I'm hungry. Think Nvidia can use their AI to perfect my grandma's secret potato chip recipe? I'm sure they're working on that right after solving world hunger and climate change. Chamber, you jest, but we might be witnessing the birth of the Nvidia effect. One company's stock making or breaking the entire tech sector. It's like the butterfly effect, but with more silicon. Isn't that fascinating? Remember when I said AI would transform society in five to ten years? At this rate, it might be more like five to ten months. One hundred percent. But have you considered the psychological impact of this AI-driven market volatility on investors? It's like a digital roller coaster for our wallets and our minds. That's a great point. The demand for Nvidia's new Blackwell chips is described as insane. They're sold out for the next twelve months. Talk about FOMO in the tech world. More like phone fear of AI negligence. Miss this train, and you might as well be using an abacus in Silicon Valley. Speaking of trains, we can't afford to miss. Why don't we play a round of our new segment, AI Stock Showdown? We'll predict which tech giant will surge next. You've got to be kidding me. I'm all in. But first, let's warm up with a quick game of tech stock roulette. You ready to bet your imaginary millions, bunch? All right, Chamber. Time for a round of tech stock roulette. You ready to bet your imaginary millions on some AI chip market madness? Oh boy, nothing gets my heart racing like pretend gambling on the future of humanity's silicon overlords. Okay. Scenario one: Nvidia announces a breakthrough in quantum AI chips. Do you A buy Nvidia stock, B short Intel, or C? Invest in a bunker because the robots are coming. Tempting as that bunker sounds, I'm going with A. If Nvidia's cracked quantum AI, we might as well ride that wave to our robot-controlled future. What's the damage? Congrats, Nvidia stock jumps twenty percent, and you're now the proud owner of a virtual yacht. My turn. All right, here's a curveball. AMD releases a chip that outperforms Nvidia's latest. By fifteen percent, do you a panic sell Nvidia, b buy AMD, or c invest in both because competition breeds innovation? Oh, you crafty Canadian! I'm going with c. In this AI arms race, a rising tide lifts all boats. You know, or should I say, all chips? Not bad, not bad. The market agrees, and both stocks see a modest bump. But plot twist. Elon Musk tweets that he's developing his own AI chip for Tesla. What's your move now? Classic Elon. I'm selling just enough to buy some popcorn because this show's about to get interesting. But seriously, I'd hold steady. Musk's tweet might cause a ripple, but Nvidia's moat is wider than the Grand Canyon. Wise choice. Looks like your virtual millions are safe for now. But remember, folks, the real AI chip market is even wilder than our little game. Nvidia's dominance is no joke, but in tech, today's leader can be tomorrow's cautionary tale. Absolutely, it's a roller coaster. All right, but unlike our game, real investors should do their homework and not base decisions on podcasters playing pretend. Now, who's up for another round? I'm floored by how accurately our game mirrors reality. 
Speaking of reality bunch, your AI prediction about society transforming is happening before our eyes. Feeling prophetic yet? Well, I don't want to brag, but my Firebrain AI community has been buzzing about this for months. It's like watching a tech tsunami in slow motion. A tech tsunami? Please. NVIDIA's stock is so high, it's starting to make my paranormal theories look down to earth. Next, we'll be discussing AI-generated Bigfoot sightings. I'm sure NVIDIA is working on that right after they perfect your grandma's potato chip recipe chamber. Well, folks, that's our daily bite of the AI chip market madness. Remember, whether you're investing in stocks or potato chips, always do your research. Absolutely. And if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a review. Until next time, keep your chips cool and your investments hot. It's the Mid Mike Daily Bite. It's the Mid Mike Daily Bite. It's the Mid Mike Daily Bite. It's the Mid Mike Daily Bite.